Hi, I'm Nikki B and welcome to my cardio and scope workout today. Okay, today's session is about 34 minutes long. We've got five different sets working the entire body. We will work six minutes per set with a minute rest in between before we move on to the next set. We've got three exercises per set which we will work for a minute each and we'll do them through twice. Okay, so those exercises are going to be a combination of strength workout, I've got dumbbells, you can use a kettlebell, and cardio. I'll explain each of the exercises in the one minute rest before we start the new set. Okay, make sure that you've warmed up before you start, if you're the warm up on my channel, a warm up of your choice. Also make sure you've got a drink and a towel to hand. Okay, so for the first set, we've got deadlifts. So, I'm using dumbbells, but you can use a kettlebell. We're coming down. Hinging at the hip, okay, just coming straight down. So for the first 30 seconds, we've got normal, just straight deadlifts. And then for the second 30 seconds, we're coming up to a high pull. So deadlift to high pull, okay. Then we've got squats. So you can either have, just hold one dumbbell or kettlebell, or you can take the two and rest them on your shoulder. We're gonna squat back for 30 seconds and then the second 30 seconds we're going to squat to press and then we've got burpees so make sure you put your weights to the side you don't trip coming down for a minute or you go in with a step out burpees okay so that's your first set i'm going to hit my timer and we're going to get straight into it so deadlifts to begin right let's go Off we go. So hinge at that hip, that bottom's going straight back, back nice and straight. Put your music on, put your tunes on. Well done. Keep that weight close to those thighs as you go down. Okay. So on the next one, we're going to come up to a high pull. So gliding down, standing up. Go no higher than shoulder height. Excellent. Give me 10 more seconds and we're going to go into those squats. Okay, so if one dumbbell or two, come back down. Feet about shoulder width apart. Excellent. So your back is nice and straight. Squeezing those glutes, that bottom, on the way up. Excellent. Okay. On the next one down, we're going to go up to a press. So coming down and press. Down and press. Fantastic. Ten more seconds. And you're going to place these weights safely to the side. We're going to go into that cardio burpees. Okay, so safely put them down. Straight into it. Brilliant. Remember your modification, you can step it out. Brilliant. Come on, 20 seconds, almost there. Okay, safely pick up those weights. And we're going back to that deadlift. 
So, coming down and up. Excellent. So gliding along the front of those thighs. Back nice and straight. Okay, we're gonna go up to a high pull. So coming up to a high pull. Fantastic. Going into those squats next. Okay, so again resting on your shoulder or holding it in front of your chest and we're coming down. Sit back in that imaginary chair. Excellent. Always come down for two and up for two. Nice and controlled. Okay, on the next one we're going to go to that press. So coming down, press. Excellent, we're going to go back to those burpees next. Okay, place them to the side. Let's go back to those burpees. Come on. Let's get them over and done with in the first set. No more burpees now after this. Stay with me. Come on, come on more. Give me one more. Whew. Okay, you got a minute break, so. Watch me while I go through the next set of exercises. So, we've got bent over row. Again with a kettlebell, you're gonna go 30 seconds on the right, then 30 seconds on the left. If your weights are particularly light, you could do a minute with double arm. We're then gonna go two press ups to eight mountain climbers. Wrists under those shoulders, so one, two, then eight mountain climbers, or on your knees, okay? Then the final exercise, cardio one, we've got pop squats, coming down, up, okay? To take out the jump, you can squat down, up on your toes, like so. So, oh. bent over rows. Back nice and straight, arm glides past your side, elbow towards the ceiling. So one, two, one, two. Almost squeeze at the top, that shoulder blade. Excellent. I will call out when to swap arms. Okay, last one this side. And we're going to swap to the left, so left arm. Or like I say, if you've got particularly light dumbbells, you can do two arms for the minute. Keep that back nice and straight. You're not twisting round. Okay. So we've got those two press-ups to eight mountain climbers. So you've got on your knees, on your toes. 
Tough one, this one. Those elbows are going 45 degree angle back, they're not flaring out to the side. Ten seconds. Ooh. Okay, straight to those pop squats at cardio. Down, up. Okay, remember modification. Squat down, up on those toes. Keep that chest up, whichever option you go for. Well done. Halfway. seconds. And we're going back to that bent over row. Whew, okay, shake those legs. Pick up that dumbbell kettlebell. So up we go. Nice and controlled. Elbow going nice and close to the body. My heart rate is up. Okay, last one this side. And we're going to swap arms. So left. Check that back's nice and straight. Nice and neutral. Elbows go up towards the ceiling. Okay, two mountain climbers. Sorry, two press ups, eight mountain climbers. So on your knees or your toes. Work in that chest. And core. Okay, straight back up, pop squats, or squatting down up on those toes. Again, chest up. Last exercise of this set before moving on to a new three exercises. Wonderful, keep going. Ten seconds. Whew, shake those legs. You got a minute break. Okay, watch me again for the new exercises. Where well, you've got lunges, so. Either with a kettlebell, 
in one hand, or you can do this with no weights, or two dumbbells, one dumbbell. Taking the right foot back, leg back, and we're gonna come down to lunges, straight up and down. We're gonna do a different tempo though for the minute, I'll explain as we go. Then got the edge squats. So, legs nice and wide, toes facing out, coming straight down and up. Again, there'll be different tempos, I'll walk you through it. And the final one is jacks. Okay, you can step it out. We're gonna do normal jacks, we're gonna do push jacks, and we're gonna do shoulder. I'll, I'll explain as we go. Right, so the first one, we've got lunges. So, take that right back, leg back, and we're gonna come down, just normal tempo, down and up. Check that alignment in that front knee, and you're almost just going straight up and down. You're not leaning forwards. Excellent. Okay, we're going to change this tempo now. For down for two, one, two, up for two. So slow it down. That's it. And the last 20 seconds we're going to pulse it or you go back to just the normal up and down. So down for two, up for two. On the next one, you're gonna hold it down at the bottom and we're just gonna do small little pulses to finish. So stay nice and low. Whew. Okay, shake those legs. Plie squats, nice wide stance. The weight in front of your chest coming down and up, down and up. Okay, on the next one, you're gonna come down, lift one heel up, the other heel up, and squeeze on those tippy toes. So down, heel, heel, on those toes. Work in those calves as well. Okay, we're then going to either pulse it at the bottom, okay, so just pulsing it like this and pulses, or you can add little hops. Come on, 10 seconds to the end. I know those legs are burning, mine are too. Okay, shake those legs. We're going to go to jacks, so bring those arms up above, work in that upper body. Remember, with or without the jump, just work those arms. Okay, we're going to take it to push. So push that door open in front of your chest. Last 20 seconds, shoulder jacks. Again, stepping it out if you need to. Taking out the jump. And we're gonna get back to those lunges. This time, taking the left leg back. Okay, grab those weights. So this time, stepping the left leg back, just coming up and down. We're going to slow it down. So down for two, up for two. Slow it right down. Lovely. And then you're going to go back either to the normal one you just did a minute ago, the normal tempo, or you're going to hold it down with me and we're going to pulse it now to the end. Little movement. Almost bouncing. Keep going, push for it. Ooh, okay, plie squats. Taking the one way in front of your chest, nice wide legs, toes facing out, coming up and down. Okay. 
okay. Next one, down, heel up, heel up, up on those toes. Down, heel, heel, squeeze. Okay, you're now going to do the option of pulsing it small or you're going to hop it to the end. Come on, five more seconds, we're going to go to those jacks. Oh, shake those legs, put them safely to the side. Off we go, get those legs moving. Again, stepping it out. Move into push jacks. You got a minute break coming up next. Shoulder jacks, down, up, bring them in and out. Ten seconds. Whew, okay, grab a drink, watch me for the next set. We've got chest presses. Okay, so taking the dumbbells. The backs of your arms resting on the floor, pushing up above the chest and back down. Okay, next one. If you've got a kettlebell for that one, you're just going to do close grip press, so coming up and down. Okay, second exercise, pull over, coming back. Slight bend in those elbows, they're nice and soft, coming back over. We've then got drop squats. So these ones, you're coming down, dropping down, pulse for two, back up, down, pulse for two, back up. Okay, with, without the jump, just do little steps and pulse it for two, march it back up. Little steps, pulse for two, march it back up. So down to the floor, chest press. So back to the arms resting on the floor, pushing up above the chest. Back down, so back to the arms, just tap the floor and up. Down for two, up for two. That's it. Nice and controlled. Fantastic. Keep it going. 20 seconds. Okay, safely put one of those dumbbells on the floor. We're going to go for that pull over. So we're going to go back behind our head and back over. Slight bend in those elbows, they're soft and up. You can intensify this further by adding a glute bridge. So lifting your bottom up, those hips up, and with that pull over, maintaining that bridge position. Make sure those hips are up, those glutes are squeezed. Excellent. Keep it going. That's it. Okay, safely so put them to the side now because we're going back to that cardio move. We've got that drop squat, pulse for two. Back up, drop squat, pulse for two. Or low impact, just stepping it out, pulse for two, march it back up. Pulse 
March it back up. Chest up, back nice and straight. One more set to go after this. This is the last set of cardio. So give it everything. Ten seconds. Okay, back to the floor. We've got those chest presses again. So safely take those weights. Back you go. So push up above the chest, back down so those arms are touching the floor. Kettlebells, you're doing that narrow grip press. So those elbows are staying close to your body as you press up. So one, two, one, two. Lovely. We are almost there. Ten seconds. And we're going to go to that pullover. Okay, so drop one of the weights safely. And we're going to go to that pullover. So again, back behind our head. Elbows soft. So get the ribbon first and then we'll go up to a glute bridge. Okay, so on the next one, the option is to raise those hips into that glute bridge, maintaining those hips up, those glutes squeezed. You want a nice straight line from your knees down to your head. Safely come up, make sure those weights are to the side. We're going back to those drop squats. So down, pulse, up. Remember you've got the option of marching it. That chest is up, that back is straight. Last minute of cardio. Keep it going, right to the end. Whew, okay, shake those legs, okay, watch me. So we have alternating bicep curls. So one, two, okay. Kettlebell users, just go with the normal bicep curl. A minute is a long time, just doing that, so you may need to take a break. We then got tricep extensions. 30 seconds per arm. Kettlebell users, you can start in this position, going up, tricep extension. Okay, up, and then to that extension. We've then got bicycle abs, so laying on the floor. So that's the first round. The second round we're doing leg lows, so on the floor, alternating those legs. Okay, make sure that, that back is firmly on the ground. As soon as your back arches, bring those legs back up. So bicep curls, off we go, alternating. Keeping those elbows close to your body and that back is staying nice and straight. Okay, we haven't got that arch back. That core is engaged.
Like I said, a minute is a long time. They're small muscles, or isolate, we're isolating them. So take a break if you need to, drop those weights, stretch it out and then rejoin. Twenty seconds. That's it, nice and controlled. A little squeeze at the top. Okay, so we're going to that tricep extension. So I'm working just my right arm first, and then we'll move to our left. So squeeze, squeeze. Again, the elbow is close to my body. It's not out, okay? And it's nice and controlled on the way up and on the way down. Okay, last one. And we're going to swap sides. So now to the left arm. You should really be feeling it in the back of that arm in those triceps. That's it, keep going. Five seconds, and we're going to go down to those bicycle abs. Okay, down to the floor, bicycle abs, so opposite elbow to knee. Make sure that you're not pulling on that neck, you've got that gap between your chin and your chest. Wonderful, keep it going, keep pushing. These can be as quick or as slow as you like, working at your level, working at your pace. Or you can mix it up, you can do poor quick, too slow. Anything to pass that minute. Okay, up we go, back to those bicep curls. So get in position and off we go. Remember those arms are staying close to our body and our back is staying nice and straight and our core is engaged. Two and a half minutes left and you're finished. Done. Give me ten more seconds. Whew, okay, tricep extension. So thirty seconds. Going with the right arm. Remember, squeezing up the back of that arm. Kettlebell uses here. Up. And tricep extension back down up tricep extension all right 10 more seconds on this arm and then we're going to swap to our left squeeze squeeze okay let's swap arms so going to the left arm I know it's burning. Okay, final minute. Leg lowers. So down to the floor. You can place your hands under your bottom for support, lowering that leg. Again, make sure that back doesn't arch. As soon as it does, bring that leg up. So you have the option here of just going to single, or you can do single, single, and then double legs together. Okay, 
So single, single, double. Remember to breathe, don't hold that breath. Come on, we're almost there, we're almost at the end. Stay strong. Fantastic, well done. Right, well I hope you enjoyed that. You've worked your entire body. You've got that heart rate elevated. You've worked your cardiovascular. And you've done your strength training all in one. Okay, make sure that you cool down, stretch it out, either the cool down on my channel or cool down of your choice. Also make sure that you get those fluids back in. And enjoy the rest of your day. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye.